Fundamentals of Embedded Systems. After exploring some of the applications of embedded systems, you want to know what are the areas you need to understand to design embedded systems. Embedded systems are a combination of hardware and software designed to perform specific functions within devices or as standalone device. Embedded systems consist of a microcontroller or microprocessor as the central component. The choice of microcontroller or microprocessor depends on the specific requirements of the system. These systems are designed to be highly efficient, reliable, and often operate in real time where responsiveness and timings are critical. Understanding the fundamentals of embedded systems involves learning about key concepts such as hardware. Embedded systems consist of hardware components that are designed specifically for the task they are intended to perform. This hardware can include microcontrollers, microprocessors, sensors, actuators, memory devices, communication interfaces, and power management circuits. The selection and integration of hardware components are crucial in ensuring the system meets its requirements efficiently and reliably. Real-time operation. Many embedded systems operate in real time, which means they must respond to external events within specific time constraints. Real-time systems are classified as hard real-time, strict timing constraints, or soft real-time, less strict timing constraints. Timing analysis and scheduling algorithms are used to ensure that tasks are executed within their deadlines. Firmware and software. Embedded systems require software to control and manage the hardware components. Firmware refers to the software that is stored in non-volatile memory, such as ROM or flash memory and is responsible for initializing the system and providing low-level functionality. Embedded software runs on top of the firmware and implements the desired functionality of the system. This software can be written in various programming languages like C, C++, and more depending on the platform and requirements. These days, Rust programming language is also picking up in the embedded systems. Power constraints. Embedded systems are often constrained by power limitations, especially in battery powered or energy efficient devices. Power optimization techniques such as sleep modes, power gating, and dynamic voltage scaling are employed to minimize power consumption without compromising system performance. Input and output. Embedded systems interact with the external world through input and output mechanisms. Inputs can come from sensors, buttons, switches, or communication interfaces, while output can be displayed on screens, sent through communication interfaces, or control actuators. The design of input and output interfaces is critical for overall system functionality and usability. Communication. Many embedded systems require communication capabilities to interact with other systems or devices. This can involve wired or wireless communication protocols such as UART, SPI, I2C, Ethernet, USB, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or cellular networks. Communication protocols must be carefully selected to meet the system's requirements for data transfer rate, range, reliability, and power consumption. System integration and testing. Embedded systems are often part of large systems and must be integrated and tested with other components to ensure proper functionality and compatibility. System integration involves connecting hardware and software modules, verifying interfaces, and validating system level behavior. Testing Methodologies like unit testing, integration testing, and system level testing are employed to detect and resolve issues. Safety and security. Depending on the application, embedded systems may need to comply with 
safety standards and requirements. Safety critical requirements, such as those used in aerospace medical devices, require rigorous design, testing, and verification to ensure reliability and fail safe operation. Security measures are also essential to protect embedded systems from unauthorized access, data breach, and malicious attacks. These are some of the areas you need to understand to design embedded systems. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more projects, courses, tutorials, and tools.